Hi there, everybody. Luke Mahelsik here, Technical Marketing Manager with Autodesk. And today we're going to be talking about some best practices when collaborating with others. Today I'm going to focus primarily on external collaboration and collaborating when your stakeholders don't have Autodesk Inventor. Think vendors, suppliers, and customers that you need to share data back and forth with. Before we jump into that, I do want to mention, if you're collaborating internally with other Inventor users, make sure you're using Vault. Autodesk Vault is the best data management tool for Inventor. It allows you to organize your data, manage documentation, and track revisions, just to name a few things. Okay, let's talk about collaborating with others outside of your organization. When you need data from others, you have a few different options inside of Inventor. First, you can ask for that data in a neutral file format. Inventor can open just about every file format, such as IGIS, STEP, STL, and SAT. These files come into Inventor as what we lovingly call dumb solids. No features, no history, basically the geometric representation and nothing else. Working with data like this is limited. You can use direct editing to modify and update, and you can also add new features with standard modeling tools. A perfect example for using this type of data would be for clearance and placement of purchase components. Another way to get the data from stakeholders is in the native file format, such as ProE or SOLIDWORKS using AnyCAD. When working with these file types, you have two options. You can bring them in as a reference model, or you can convert the model. Reference models maintain a link to the original file, which enables you to update Inventor as the original model updates. Let's say, for example, your vendor updates the design after you've already placed the part and built downstream assemblies and drawings. All you need to do is replace the old part with the new part and all the modifications in downstream data update automatically. Converted models do not maintain an associative link to the original file. Both reference and converted import types can be modified with direct editing and parametric features. Let's switch gears and talk about when you need to share your data. In most cases, when you share your data, you want to protect your intellectual property by simplifying and providing only the required level of detail. The shrink wrap tool allows you to quickly create simplified versions of your assemblies. You can pick and choose what components you want to include, and more importantly, you can remove features. And when you're ready to output your simplified part file, you can even fill voids and remove internal parts. You also have options for simplifying part files if you only need to share individual components. Here, you can remove details, fill voids, and define envelopes. Unless who you're working with specifically asks for Inventor files, I would suggest you provide them with a neutral file format. Inside of Inventor, you simply export to a CAD format. STEP is probably the most widely used neutral file format, and just about any CAD system can import it. Additionally, STEP AP242 specifically allows you to export a fully annotated 3D model that can be used in downstream manufacturing operations. I hope these collaboration best practices help you work better with your external stakeholders. Also, here are a few resources you might be interested in. The Autodesk Knowledge Network, the Inventor Forum, and where you can find us on social media. I'm Luke Mahelsik. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.